I'd like to introduce a new member of our family. Meet Phyllis. That's Phyllis Chevy. I'm scared. <laughs> got a tree. What's it called again? A ficus. It's a ficus. It's a little leaf ficus or something? So it's about what? Hmm, he's about four feet tall right now, maybe. Just oh, under, maybe. <laughs> and it could grow to be well, taller in the ceiling if we don't trim it. It, they had some in the greenhouse there that were probably over eight feet tall. So we'll probably have to trim that out. We also got a, a new member. That was Phyllis. I want to introduce you to Gabby. Gabby Gerber. Small, or, yeah, Gabby Gerber. Our smaller member. She's the one I chose. What does that say? Fresh? Produce. Fresh? Locally grown. Mm. Oh. Picked fresh daily. <laughs> Just a farmhouse looking pot. We uh, just did this random stop in at the nursery in town. We actually want to uh, plant our whole garden over there. We want to actually turn that into a new forest. So we went in there and we said, we'd like to plant a forest. So they gave us a whole bunch of different ideas of different seedlings and uh, they call them plugs that we can get. Uh, they're pretty much just baby trees. And uh, we'll get a few this year, a few next year. And over the years, we'll keep adding and adding until that whole area there on the other side of the driveway, that whole garden area, is all forest again. And also, out in front there, just to sort of thicken up the front a little bit. And uh, go from there, but yeah, we ended up walking out with a tree. Well, at first we were like, oh, we should get a nice little kitchen flower. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna choose one, I'm gonna choose one. And then he started wandering further into the greenhouse. <laughs> and then his eyes lit up. Kind of like they did when they first met me. It was like a kid in a candy store. Just like they sparkle when he gets really excited about something. It's really weird. It's like a cartoon. And then he was like, I'd really like to watch something grow of my own. And then we brought home a tree. I had actually picked a, what was it called? A, gar a gardenia. A gardenia tree, which is a tree for inside, which you know blossoms into like beautiful white flowers and stuff. But the two that they had in stock there had some kind of... Uh, aphids. Aphids? of pest, right? Yeah, aphids. Little tiny green bugs that suck out the chloroform from leaves. Um, mm. Chloroform. Chlorophyll? <laughs> what are you thinking of? That's my, that's my night job. Is that anyways, why I can't remember anything from last night? Well, now you know. Um, anyways, uh, so they couldn't sell them to us, so they're going to treat them. We'll call them back and then we'll probably get one. And that can be like a part indoor plant, part outdoor mm -hmm. in the warmer months. But this yeah. is all indoor, this ficus. Yeah. Phyllis. Her name is Phyllis. And Gabby. Phyllis and Gabby Gerber. Yeah. That was our day so far. <laughs> I have a grocery shop and we did some banking. We did adult stuff. We didn't just do random let's buy plant stuff. Yeah, well, we got our grocery shopping done for the next couple of days. Uh, we're uh, changing over a bunch of our banking stuff now, which is taking more than more effort than I'd like it to. But, you know, you got to deal with these. We're trying to sort of consolidate everything to one bank. And sometimes you got to work on other people's timelines, right? Other people's yeah. Schedules. So right now we have like three different banks that we deal with, which is pointless. Why do we have three different banks? So we're trying to move everything into one, one place. But now you guys don't want to hear about that. That's just sort of what we were doing today. Well, and then we ended up walking away with a tree. We thought we didn't have eggs. Oh. We bought eggs? Do we have eggs? We now have like 50 some odd eggs. Oh, let's have eggs. I like eggs. Thought we were having chicken, asparagus, and potatoes. Let's plant them in the garden and watch the chickens grow. Hey, that's a good idea. That's how chickens grow, right? That's where chickens come from? Chicken came first. So the chicken came along, laid a seed. That seed got planted in the ground and it grew another chicken. And then they started having eggs. Maybe it was an egg tree. Maybe it was first a tree with eggs and then the chicken came from the egg. I'm pretty much a biologist at this point, so. And as are you. Yeah, I Google. I'm Google smart. This is what's for supper. Mm-hmm. We're about to go outside and cook it up on the barbecue. It's not just chicken. We're having potatoes and asparagus and garlic juice. Oh yeah, but that's the main main look dish. That. Look at that. Oh. Everybody's excited. Frank, don't get stepped on. My shoes. 
You guys ready? Our first barbecue together. Barbecued once before already. I was with my buddy James. Oh no, we barbecued with you guys too. That was when they came over though. Well, I was supposed to bring some stuff out. I had specific instructions and I put it here so I wouldn't forget. And I forgot. Of course I did. Right. Oh, it's gonna be good. Where are you going, babe? <laughs> I thought it was still in the garage. Nope, brought it out here, all ready to go. It's all heated up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm just going for a walk with my chickens on the deal. Just walking around. Okay. You clear a spot for me? So I got a clean plate underneath for when it's cooked. Okay. But actually, I think I might get something bigger. I don't know. I think it's it's enough, eh? Oh, yeah. So that's a clean plate. got squished by the bigger ones. It's science. Science? We're gonna have lots of leftovers. Diesel, stop eating the grass. You're not a cow. All right. Well, let science do its magic. We're ready to go. It is finally that season again. We still have quite a bit of snow in our yard. But this, where I'm standing right here, this was over my waist, waist deep. I tried to get into there in the middle of winter. Oh, I, I made it, but I was crawling through snow that was past my waist right here. So we're almost gone. It's almost gone. In the back here, still got a little bit. For the most part, we're right into spring. So the big project for this year will be the roof. We need to replace it with metal. Here, I'll show you it from a always further away, maybe. Let's see, make sure all the ice dams are gone. Oh yeah, yeah, everything's melted off of there. See that? Whoever did the shingles, they only did the shingles about pff, five years ago, but whoever did them, did them completely wrong completely wrong, but no uh, tar paper or no undercoating. And this roof has a problem with ice damming. So at least with metal roofing, if the ice does still dam up, it won't push back up underneath the shingles and come into the house. So a little more expensive, but I like it better. I actually like the looks. I like the looks of metal roofing better and uh, it'll last longer. I'll never have to replace it again in my lifetime. In about 30 years, I'll just have to replace the screws and the seals on the screws. That's that's it. So I want to get the garage done to match. Probably won't be able to do that this year, but that'll probably be a project for next summer. Because that roof needs to be replaced in the next, in the next few years. We'll get it done to match the house at that point. Washed and another plate. Nice. You excited? <gasps> Come here, guys. Guys. Diesel, bring him here. Diesel, bring him here. I'm busy. Diesel. <laughs> Just leaps. Stay in the back. Come on, Chevy. Get him. Oh, I'll get him. I'll get him. I'll get him real good. I'll get him. Show him how he's done. Show him how he's done. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. Diesel, hey, hey, easy. <laughs> he gets a little carried away. <laughs> Chevy lets him know. I'll fight you both. I'll fight you both with one hand. <laughs> okay, guys, guys. Diesel, Chevy, hey. Hey, enough. A little bit carried away. They haven't been outside in a long time. Stay here. <sighs> ah. 
have to use my daddy voice. Echoed. It was my fault. I egged him on. Ooh. Oh, yes. Yes, it's gonna be so good. Mm. We've got a movie. Just going through the previews over there right now. What's the movie called again? Watson and Holmes or Holmes and Watson? Something Will Ferrell like and John C. Riley, anyways, teaming up again. And we got dinner. Dinner and seconds for later. I will be dipping into that. Oh, yeah. This is what it is. Uh, Holmes and Watson. Holmes and Watson, okay. Yeah, why would it be Watson and Holmes? It flows better, but Holmes is always the main character. Anything with Will Ferrell in it, I'm down for. Yeah, he's a love or hate kind of actor, though. I know a lot of people that can't stand him, but we love him. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I trust people who don't like Will Ferrell. I don't like Adam Sandler. What? Well, it's not that I don't like him. I don't like the movies he's in or his, his characters. So. Well, I'm going to get a lot of hate mail now. You should have told me this before I married you. Sorry. She doesn't like Adam Sandler. Okay, what did I come over here with? One more of those yet? Alright, I'm gonna focus on dinner right now. Talk to you guys after. <laughs>